Did you know that Elon Musk is projected to become the world's first trillionaire in 2024? An incredible milestone for Elon Wright. Well, we'll find out in a few moments. In the meantime, Elon Musk announces Tesla is working on a new manganese battery cell. While on the other hand the Tesla Model Y has been added to Hertz's fleet of rentable electric vehicles. Finally, the flying Tesla case takes new turn as man who claimed to be Model S driver denies involvement. Welcome back to Technopole don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update about Tesla or basically anything related to the billionaire Elon Musk. With that being said let's begin. First up today, Elon Musk announced that Tesla sees potential in manganese-based cathodes in battery chemistry. The CEO reiterated that the industry needs to focus more on the battery supply chain down to the minerals. Well, it's very correct. Electric vehicles are starting to catch on now but there is not yet a big enough mining industry to support them. The mining of copper, lithium, cobalt, manganese, aluminum, nickel all needs to grow. During a speech to Tesla Vega factory Berlin employees following the delivery of the first Model Y made at the factory, Musk was asked about graphene-based batteries. Like many others in the industry, Musk said he was skeptical due to the complexities of making graphene, but he did say that Tesla is working on making batteries with more materials. The CEO reiterated that for the foreseeable future Tesla, like the rest of the industry, will focus on nickel-based chemistries for longer-range vehicles and iron phosphate for shorter-range vehicles. But Musk added a brief but interesting comment about a manganese-based battery. I think there's an interesting potential for manganese. Tesla has been exploring using more manganese in its battery cells for a while. At Tesla Battery Day in 2020, Musk said, It is relatively straightforward to do a cathode that's two-third nickel and one-third manganese, which will allow us to make 50% more cell volume with the same amount of nickel. Today, the CEO didn't detail that Tesla is working on it, but it sounds like it could be a solution along with nickel and iron-based chemicals. At very large scale, we need tens, maybe hundreds of millions of tons ultimately. So the materials used to produce these batteries at a very large scale need to be common materials or you can't scale. Several research groups have published papers on promising manganese-rich cathode batteries that could offer interesting options with a higher energy density than iron phosphate and potentially lower price than nickel-rich batteries. Manganese is already used by Tesla in some battery chemistries, but it is not a major component. For example, the NMC chemistry makes heavy use of manganese, which Tesla has previously used in its Powerwall. Nissan also uses manganese-rich cathodes in the lease original batteries. The CEO reiterated the need to focus on battery mineral supply to accelerate the transition to electric transport and renewable energy. Tesla estimates that the world will need 300 terawatt hours of battery production to fully transition to a sustainable world, Musk said. Next up today, the Tesla Model Y has joined Hertz's fleet of rentable electric vehicles, joining its sibling, the Model 3. Last year, Hertz ordered 100,000 Model 3 vehicles from Tesla, a deal that still has yet to be completely fulfilled, but that hasn't stopped rental companies from offering customers the new all-electric body style. Hertz has added the vehicle to its available EV page, but it doesn't appear to be on the market yet. One is available for pre-order, but Model Y is not currently available at any location. The Model 3 remains available at seven locations. Washington Dulles, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Miami and Orlando International Airports, Los Angeles and San Francisco International Airports in California, and Hartsfield International Airport in Atlanta, Georgia. Meet the newest addition to Hertz's EV fleet, Model Y, and see why you should reserve one for your next adventure, Hertz says on its site. According to their projections, the vehicle will be a seven-seat configuration, offering 330 miles of all-electric range. The addition of the Model Y was first noticed by Sawyer Merritt. The addition of the Model Y is interesting because Hertz ordered 100,000 Model 3s from Tesla last year. However, Hertz has yet to receive the full order. Last year, Tesla CEO Elon Musk had confirmed after the order that there was no special contract between the two companies, and Hertz had ordered the cars at cost from Tesla. Hertz has been regularly receiving Model 3s since last year. In a statement to Tesla Roddy in January, Hertz said that the company is actively receiving deliveries for both the retail and Uber fleet operations. The rental company also said that availability was in several U.S. markets as part of its phased national rollout. The huge Model 3 deal cost Hertz $4.2 billion, but as mentioned, the leasing company doesn't get preferential treatment from the automaker. Tesla has far more demand than production, so we'll only sell cars to Hertz at the same profit margin as our customers," Musk said after confirming that the two companies had no legally binding contracts. The company has never confirmed how many Model 3s were delivered to Hertz.
Additionally, there is currently no forecast for when the Model Y will be available for customers to rent. Tesla Ready reached out to Hertz for comment, but did not immediately hear back. Elon Musk is currently the richest person in the world, taking over the title last year from former Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. While Musk has repeatedly said physical possessions were not his problem, eventually selling nearly all of his personal possessions as evidence, a new study from Tipalti approved suggests Musk could become the first person to amass a $1 trillion net worth, and it could happen as early as 2024. Musk's net worth is more than $260 billion, according to Forbes' real-time billionaire list, nearly $70 billion more than Bezos' current estimate of about $190 billion. Musk's fortune has skyrocketed over the past few years thanks to his majority stake in electric car company Tesla, which has grown in value since 2020. SpaceX has also helped Musk's net worth soar and could catalyze more growth over the next two years. Since 2017, Musk's fortune has shown an annual average increase of 129%, which could potentially see him enter the trillion-dollar club in just two short years, achieving a net worth of $1.38 trillion by 2024 at age 52. A proof said in their report, via Yahoo Finance. SpaceX generates massive incomes by charging governmental and commercial clients to send various things into space, including satellites, ISS supplies, and people. Other billionaires are also on track to reach the trillion-dollar range, but not before Musk. TikTok founder Zhang Yaming expects to be worth $1 trillion by 2026 at the age of 42, making him the youngest trillionaire. Bezos may not hit the threshold until 2030. Bezos broke ground in the field of net worth, reaching $100 billion before any other entrepreneur in the world. In 2017, e-commerce and global procurement giant Jeff Bezos was the first to reach $100 billion since Bill Gates back in 1999, approves report said. It was Bezos, not Musk, who a few years ago was expected to become the world's first trillionaire and who now isn't expected to join the club until 2030, some six years after Musk. Of course, inflation has affected the calculations of the world's richest people for decades. Interestingly, the report suggests Mansa Musa of the Mali Empire, who is widely regarded as the richest man to ever live, would have a net worth well over anyone currently. Musa oversaw a kingdom that at one point in time accounted for nearly 50% of the world's gold. Some estimates place his net worth at $400 billion, although the figure has been challenged by many historians. Today's next update comes from Italian tire manufacturer Pirelli, which today announced the launch of its first electric vehicle replacement tire in North America, the Elect Badged P0 All Season Plus. The Elect mark on the Pirelli tires indicates several distinct advantages. First, the tires have low rolling resistance, which increases driving range and reduces energy consumption, reducing the frequency of stops at EV chargers. When combined with high-end vehicles, such as the Lucid Air Dream Edition or Tesla Model S with all-wheel drive, the Pirelli Elect range reduces road contact and makes the vehicle more efficient. When non-elect P0 all-season plus tires have been fitted on vehicles, the Pirelli product has shown a reduction of rolling resistance by 15%, translating to direct improvement of the EV battery life cycle. One of the most important and obvious advantages is reducing road noise, creating a more tranquil experience in the EV cabin. In electric vehicles, road noise is more pronounced because there is no loud internal combustion engine, which drowns out in gasoline-powered cars, providing more noise in the cabin. This has been a major concern for Tesla over the years, as many consumers say road noise has reached almost unbearable levels. Tesla eventually worked with tire manufacturers to develop insulating rubber and made changes to its manufacturing process to mitigate some cabin noise complaints. For those using the Pirelli All Season Plus, Road noise won't be an issue as it has the company's PNCS or Pirelli noise cancellation system. Pirelli developed this technology to reduce internal noise thanks to sound-absorbing materials applied to the inside of the circumferential wall. It offers an improved driving comfort, which is another feature appreciated by EV drivers. Tires equipped with PNCS have shown a 5% reduction in cabin noise versus the leading OEM competitor. Another incredible advantage of the Pirelli Elect tire is the instant grip it provides electric vehicles, helping to support the fast acceleration of the proverbial electric powertrain. In addition to the traction control and starting grip advantages, Pirelli's tires support the weight of battery-powered vehicles, the company said. Pirelli continues to develop new tires and technologies for electric vehicles, especially as the automotive industry continues its massive transition to more sustainable powertrains. Pirelli is the first tire manufacturer to endorse EV-specific technology. It also has the most EV tire certifications. 
Developing a tire specifically for electric vehicles requires a number of considerations you do not encounter when working with internal combustion engines, Ian Koch, chief technical officer at Pirely North America, said. Electric vehicles are heavier, have more powerful and faster acceleration off the line, and require lower rolling resistance. Pirely has developed a new compounding formula that increases the wear resistance of tires, compensating for the high torque and added weight that electric vehicles all have. The company says the tire is designed to provide long-lasting performance in a variety of conditions. The new P0 All Season Plus Elect will fit some of the most popular EV performance models, ranging in size from 18 inches to 20 inches. In addition to the obvious EV vehicle benefits, the new P0 All Season Plus Elect comes with a 50,000-mile limited treadwear warranty. Finally, the Tesla Model S flight case that went viral this past weekend took a rather bizarre turn. After initially claiming he was the driver of the ill-fated vehicle, social media influencer Dominica Zeglides clarified that he actually lied about his involvement in the stunt. Zeglides explained his latest stance on the incident in a video uploaded on his personal YouTube channel. As videos of the Model S dramatic jump went viral this past weekend, Zeglides shared several posts on TikTok, claiming that he was behind the wheel of the car. One TikTok video featured the influencer with the caption, I just crashed my new Tesla, and in a follow-up clip, Zeglides called the insane Tesla jump my stunt. He also mocked the Los Angeles Police Department's investigation on the matter. The LAPD offered a $1,000 reward for information on the flying Tesla driver, and it didn't take long for a TikTok video of Zeglides to go viral, and police were pointed at the social media influencer. Police contacted Zeglides about his possible involvement in the incident, and the media interviewed him. The TikTok personality opted to update his stance, stating that he simply edited himself into the video of the jumping Model S, which was pretty easy since he has a Tesla himself. For now, Zeglides has steadfastly denied any involvement in the Tesla flight incident, although he felt some of the effects of the stunt. His TikTok account was banned after the Tesla flight video went viral, and Zeglides noted that he experienced a lot of criticism online. You can't believe everything you see on the internet. The media loves to capitalize on the downfall of public figures, and if they don't have a story to attack, they'll create a story," Zeglades said. This is quite ironic considering that Zeglades was the one who inserted himself into the situation by claiming he was behind the stunt. Alex Choi, who uploaded a video of the incident on his YouTube channel, has been supporting Zeglades's updated story, noting that the driver of the Model S was part of a meetup that he hosted earlier that night. Choi said he was not warned about the stunt because the Model S driver made the jump without any warning. The YouTuber claims he didn't know the driver of the ill-fated Model S, and it's unclear if he's cooperating with police in solving the case. What is extremely unfortunate is the fact that the ill-fated, flying Tesla Model S was just rented from Enterprise. So far, it appears that the LAPD is yet to speak with the person who rented the Tesla. A victim of the stunt, Jordan Hook, whose Subaru SUV was damaged by the flying Model S, has also started a GoFundMe to help him replace his damaged vehicle. So what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments below, and most importantly if you wish to be updated on every single topic related to the EV industry, you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. Also thank you for watching the video, this is a signing off, see you guys in the next one, until then peace.